We want to turn to the latest on that other emergency coronavirus experts warning that these large crowds we are seeing in the streets gathered to protest across the country might now cause a new COVID hotspots. Several of them. Whit Johnson joins us now with more on that. Good morning to you, Whit. TJ, good morning to you. Governor Andrew Cuomo says New York City is still on track to begin phase one of reopening by Monday, but health officials are worried about these mass demonstrations. Thousands of people packed shoulder to shoulder for hours at a time. They are warning protesters that the virus is marching with them. This morning, as hundreds of thousands protest across the country demanding change, mounting concern about whether a lack of masks and social distancing could lead to coronavirus outbreaks. I see some wearing masks. I see some others not wearing masks. And so we are really trying to work with each of the mayors to expand testing availability. This comes as many states are not out of the woods yet. 16 states plus Puerto Rico are seeing the number of new cases increase, including California, where L.A. County reported more than 1,100 new cases on Tuesday alone. Utah, Arizona and Texas also seeing an increase. An Oklahoma State football player testing positive, writing on Twitter, after attending a protest in Tulsa and being well protective of myself, I have tested positive for COVID-19. Please, if you're going to protest, take care of yourself and stay safe. Although most of those people look pretty healthy, we know that COVID could be out there in people with no symptoms. But there are signs of hope in the former epicenter of the outbreak, New York, where new COVID hospitalizations dropped to a new low. Still a warning from Governor Andrew Cuomo. If you're going to protest, protest intelligently. Remember, the COVID virus is still out there. And overnight, the nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, saying the idea of keeping schools closed in the fall may not be necessary. We now have results of the first large-scale clinical trial of hydroxychloroquine. That's the malaria drug that President Trump himself has promoted and even used recently. The study involved more than 800 people and found that it did absolutely nothing to prevent infections of COVID-19. George. Okay, thanks very much.